from the perspective of someone on the Earth at the time, what you would have seen is an enormous object approaching the Earth, many, many, many times larger than the full moon in the sky. It would have hit the Earth at an oblique angle. On a time scale of a few hours, an enormous shock wave from the impact would have propagated around the entire surface of the Earth. The vaporized rock from the initial uh, impact point would have been ejected out and it would have flowed around the entire Earth. And the Earth would find itself enveloped by a thick atmosphere, but not like an atmosphere we know today. This would have been an atmosphere of vaporized rock with a temperature of more than 5,000 degrees. The momentum, the force of this collision, is enough to start the Earth rotating very rapidly. And so only hours after this impact, the Earth has a rapid rotation rate. Now we think on a much longer time scale of about 100 years, that disk will cool, the vapor will condense, and out of that disk, through collisions within the disk, the moon would have grown and accumulated. 